Hey guys, welcome back to Z Code System here on YouTube. We thank you for joining us again this week, and we're going to talk about some of the sports that are coming up in June. June is a huge month of sports coming back after the coronavirus hiatus that has sent many of these sports leagues around the world into hibernation. We've already seen sports leagues such as the German Bundesliga come back, as well as the Korean K League, and now we are about to see more football leagues, soccer leagues that is, uh, coming back this month, as well as tennis, boxing, and a few other sports that have their wheels a turning at the moment. Last week, we talked about the NHL and their proposed plan to come back, hopefully in July and August, with a 24 team formatted tournament. So we're excited about that. But we've got some other things, other sports coming back right before that. So, of course, you can go over to the Z Code System blog and you can get up to date on everything throughout the week with our blogs. And you can see there my latest blog, which we're talking about now, and is the June return of sports. And you can also find a lot of other great information as I scroll down here. You can find out different contests and the different uh, things that we have going on, such as the double your bankroll in seven days and find out how you can make more profits on your sports betting. Now, please, guys, if you like what you hear, give us a like, click that thumbs up, and subscribe to the Z Code System channel so you're getting updates from us every time that we post a video here on YouTube. And, of course, you can also watch over on our blog where we embed all of these videos into uh, the website blogs there so you can read and watch along if that's what you like. Now, before we get started with talking about some of these sports that are coming back, I just want to direct your attention over to two Quick things here at Z Code System that are going on right now. Now, the first thing that I just want to draw your attention to is the top performing automated systems for June. And you can go over to the website there, zcodesystem.com backslash top systems, and you can find out just what the top systems right now are and how much money they are bringing in. And you can just scroll through these at your leisure and you can check out the return on investments. You can check out the profits that are coming in from these Z code system systems and you can subscribe to these and they can help you make great profits on your sports betting. So be sure you're checking out these top systems at Z code system and use them to help you make more profits on your sports betting. So go over there, do that at your leisure. But before we get into our the rest of our video, I also want to direct your attention over to the new Z Code System Z Live bot. Now you can see here we have the Z Code System bot, and this is a great tool for your professional sports investments. So you can go over to zcodesystem.com backslash live betting bot, and you can get all the details on this. Check out the video that we have there to uh, describe the Z Code Live bot, and uh, you can find out more information about getting your premium membership and using this and the other tools we have at Z Code System. And we also have our frequently asked questions there, so you can get some more information on all of the great features presented by the Live Bot. So definitely get on to that. Now, let's take a look at some of the sports that are coming back in June so we're all up to date and ready to go with our sports betting. So as I said earlier, June is the return of sports month. Premier League's back. La Liga is coming back. Tennis and boxing. So we're getting all excited about this. And as you can see, they're the big one, the biggest football league in the world. Uh, and that is the Premier League is coming back on June the 17th, 2020. We're going to have two games on that day. Manchester City and Arsenal. Huge game right there to kick things off on the resumption of the Premier League. And we're also going to have Aston Villa and Sheffield United going at it. Now, Liverpool are on their way to the league title, 25 points ahead of everybody else. But a lot of things can still go on this year. Uh, the possibility of relegation. That you know, There's some things that are still being discussed right now with the restart of the Premier League. The possibility of neutral 
venues uh, being used is still being kicked around and the possibility of freezing relegation for this season. So some things still being ironed out in the lead up. We're still 16 days away from June uh, from the restart. Uh, today is June the 1st as you watch this here or as I'm recording here. So a lot still going on and also a lot of teams still competing for those top four places and the Europa League qualification places. So a lot to play for. You're going to get to see a lot of football in the Premier League and a lot of chances to wager. And that's going to go into July, a short break, and then kicking off the next season, which, if you're a fan, is a lot of fun. Uh, you know, we were supposed to have this summer a lot of different international football tournaments going on. Uh, the European Championships were supposed to take place across Europe. We were also supposed to see um, a big uh, tournament going on in South America as well. So those tournaments were all obviously put on hold. So, But we do have club football still going on right now in the summer. And uh, you know, even though we've had all these issues with the coronavirus, this is something that at least we can be excited about and look forward to. Now, we also have the EFL Championship coming back. This is the second division of English football, if you're not familiar with it. And it will kick off three days later on June 20th, 2020. And there are 108 games left to play in this season. So when we combine all the games that the teams will be playing, 108. Now, the, the championship also features a playoff format at the end with the top six teams, uh, or sorry, uh, four, uh, fourth place through, let me start that over, third place through sixth place playing uh, in the playoffs. So they play a two-leg semifinal and a uh, final game there with those four teams. So we're going to get to see uh, at least a few more games after that. So a lot of football still left to play in the EFL Championship, which means you've got lots of chances still to wager on sports. So get on to that if football is your thing. Now, here are some leagues that are coming back now in the next couple of weeks. Uh, Denmark started over the weekend as well as Poland. Serbia and Ukraine also starting over the weekend. Uh, I did get to see some matches from Denmark and Poland. Uh, really nice to see some football uh, again and uh, it's just great to have these betting opportunities as well. Uh, Austria, Portugal, uh, Slovenia, Croatia, and Greece all starting this week as I talk to you right now. Uh, Portugal, when I was looking through the fixtures list coming up, you're going to be able to see games from Portugal coming up almost every night of the week over the next uh, five weeks or so. Uh, so that's great betting opportunities there for you to make profits. So some exciting stuff going on. Spain kicking off next week with La Liga, and they're going to be cramming in their, I believe, 10 games, their last 10 games of the season uh, for each team within a five-week time span. So there's going to be lots of weekend and midweek games going on there. Uh, Turkey also back on the 12th, and Sweden, who, if you are following the news, they uh, did not go into lockdown like most other countries, and uh, they're going to be back with the Alsvinskan on June 14th, and unlike a lot of these other uh, nations, uh, actually compared to all these other nations, they are going to allow fans into the stands for the game. So, uh, you know, that's going to be kind of different than maybe what we've seen um, from, from, say, Germany, where we've seen a lot of away teams go in and win against home teams because of that uh, lacking of home support. So, uh, definitely, definitely check this out and see how that alters uh, games, wins, and betting. Uh, now, just to look at a few more leagues coming in, Norway is going to start up again this month as well. And uh, as I said before, England and uh, the EFL Championship there. Italy is coming back. Russia and Finland will close us out in July. Now, also, if you are a follower of U.S. and Canadian football or soccer, that is, uh, the Major League Soccer in the U.S. is hoping for a late June return. Now, they played, I believe it was two weeks worth of matches back in March before the season was suspended. The idea right now that they are planning on is to have a hub in Orlando, uh, in Orlando, Florida, where all the teams will be based for a few weeks. Uh, they will play a bit of a tournament at that time. I believe it's a I want to say a 26 game tournament is what I read. Um, no, sorry, that's it's a 26 team tournament. Uh, and what they will be doing is the teams will be competing in group stages with all of the games and the points uh, reflecting later on in the league standings. 
And hopefully after a few weeks of playing the tournament around late July or August, the teams will be able to resume um, the season back in their home stadiums. And it will resume as their usual season with the tournament games um, and the points going into the standings. So I hope I was able to make that a bit clear. Uh, also, if you're in the USA and you enjoy football over there, soccer, uh, the NWSL, the National Women's Soccer League, is also planning on a return at the end of June, June 27th. And they are just simply going to have all the teams, all nine teams, play in Utah. And they will be playing a tournament there in uh, in lieu of a regular season. So they're going to nix the regular season and just play a tournament between the teams. Now, other sports are on the way back as well. So one, uh, if you are a tennis uh, fan, we will be seeing some tennis coming at you in June, June 23 to June 28, a six-day tournament uh, called the Battle of the Brits with some of the top-ranked male tennis players in Britain competing. As you can see there, Andy and Jamie Murphy will both, uh, Murray will both be there, and there will also be a singles and doubles champions uh, tournaments, trophies handed out. So if you want to bet on some tennis, well, there you go. You've got um, the Battle of the Brits going on. And also coming up this month, horse racing is returning. The Belmont Stakes will be uh, running on June 20th. Now, if you follow horse racing in the U.S., of course, the Belmont Stakes is one of the jewels of the Triple Crown, along with the Preakness and the Kentucky Derby. Now, the Kentucky Derby will not run until September 5th. And I believe it's going to be around October 3rd that we're going to see the Preakness. So typically, the Triple Crown is run in uh, May and June with the Kentucky Derby, the Preakness, and the Belmont Stakes uh, taking place in about a five-week period. This year is obviously postponed due to the coronavirus, uh, and things have just been spread out a bit. And the hope is that in September, fans will be able to be led in at the Kentucky Derby, which is the biggest horse race in the United States uh, and in thoroughbred horse racing. So um, hopefully we'll be able to see some of that. And of course, horse racing has continued uh, for some countries, the US, uh, the US included uh, during the coronavirus, but we're also seeing some of the, uh, some other countries such as Britain uh, starting up this week with horse racing as they prepare for Royal Ascot, which is one of the biggest racing festivals um, of the calendar year. And that's also going to have six additional races, I believe it is, going on this year. So a huge amount of racing to bet on at the Belmont Stakes. And that is going to be taking place over a five-day period uh, in mid-June, I believe kicking off June 14th, if I can remember that off the top of my head. Now, also, boxing in the USA is taking place uh, from mid-June as well. Top rank, uh, the one of the biggest promotions in the U.S. will be holding uh, matches every week in Las Vegas with ESPN broadcasting those around the country. So some excellent boxing bouts will be taking place. If boxing is your thing to bet on, then by God, get on to that. In July, boxing will return in the UK. And of course, we all know that UFC is continuing to go on and we're going to be seeing some UFC action coming up this weekend with another big event. So guys, you've got lots of stuff coming up in June. We've I guess, knock on wood, weathered the storm of the coronavirus, and uh, hopefully more sports will be getting back. And obviously, more importantly, hopefully the world and everybody will be getting back to uh, good health and uh, we can move on past this. So guys, well, I hope you are having a great week and you're enjoying the sports that have come back and you're staying in tune with us here at Z Code System. So we will see you next week, guys, with our latest video and we will give you some information on some of the sporting events coming up. Perhaps we will take a look at the upcoming weekend's Bundesliga games and give you some good picks and predictions for that. So good luck with your bets, and we'll see you soon, guys, from Z Code System.